guys welcome back to my channel today's video is a very quick get ready with me this is what I would go to if I needed to get out the door in say 10 minutes or so so if you're interested in a quick tutorial just keep watching now I did do my brows off camera I thought I would save you guys the boredom so the first thing I'm gonna get started with is a BB cream so I'm not even gonna use a full foundation today it is the Tarte BB T tinted treatment primer it's got a SPF of 30 in it so I'm gonna go in I'm not even gonna use a brush or a sponge I'm just gonna apply this with my hands it goes on really nicely and it just evens things out a little bit it's really lightweight and I like that it still gives you some a little bit of coverage but at the same time my freckles are still popping through which is fine with me and I like that it has a sunscreen so if I'm going to be outside at the pool or if I'm going to a baseball game I have a little bit of coverage I have purchased this again and again because I just really like it and like I said you don't need a brush or a sponge to apply this it's really light but I do keep baby wipes on hand kind of wipe my hands down when I'm done the next thing I'm gonna do is go in with concealer and for this I'm gonna use the Tarte Shape Tape and the shade I use is light neutral and I will use a beauty blender sponge for this so I'm just gonna kind of go in where I see that I need a little extra coverage usually that's under my eyes and around my nose so I'll just dot a little bit I know in the YouTube world a lot of people do the whole triangle down your face thing just to kind of highlight but I don't feel like I need to do that I just I just treat where I think I need to so I'm gonna pat that out with a beauty sponge this is actually the L'Oreal sponge and it's my favorite it's around seven dollars at the drugstore so I just kind of pat all that out So it just kind of brightens up my under eye a little bit and then any excess I might take a little bit onto my cheeks I do have a little redness around my nose so I'm gonna go back in with a little bit more of the concealer there does anybody else get super red right there I don't I hate it I hate it and it and that's the very first place where if my foundation is gonna break down that's where it breaks down the first So I've got all of that patted out. The next thing I'm gonna do is go in with bronzer and I'm using the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. And I'm gonna use the Sonia Kashuk Tools number 18 brush and just kind of warm up my cheeks around the perimeter of my face. You guys, Mother's Day is Sunday, so if you haven't gotten anything for your mom, you better get on it. You better get on it or at very least get her a nice car give her a call and tell her how much she means to you I know there are so many like my mom never wants to give me really any good ideas sorry mom I need more ideas but my husband asked me what I want and I sent him a list with pictures of things that I want so he shouldn't have any trouble coming up with something to get for me so yeah I've added a little bit of bronzer warmed warmed the face up a little bit and I'm gonna go in with a little bit of blush and the blush I'm using is the Tarte Amazonian clay 12-hour blush the shade is blushing bride and I'm gonna use a real techniques blush brush for this this is really pretty cheap I think at Ulta and at Target but it's my, been my favorite blush brush so I'm just going to add a little bit to the apples of my cheeks. I love this color. I think I've owned this for a couple years and it's supposed to expire in 12 months, but I still use it. I love it. So, and the next thing I'm going to do is go in with highlighter and this is my favorite, the Essence Pure Nude. This is a really good price at the drugstore. And to apply it, I'm gonna use the Mikasa F120 brush. It's kind of like a tapered brush. 
love this brush. I just recently partnered up with Mikasa and I didn't know what to expect because I had never actually heard of the brand before, but they reached out to me on Instagram and asked if I would be interested in their brushes. And of course I was, so I picked out what I wanted. They sent it over and I was really impressed with the quality of it. They're, they're feel very professional, kind of heavy. And then I've washed them a couple times and they washed up really nice. So I'm taking that highlighter, I'm hitting the high points in my cheeks right above my brow bone. And then I go down the center of my nose just a little bit and in the cupid's bow and then right down the center of my chin. Now for eyes, I'm going really simple. So I'm just gonna use one shadow color and then I'm gonna use my bronzer. So the shadow I'm gonna use is the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow and the shade is Ice Latte. So you can get this anywhere you know, L'Oreal is sold, drugstore, Target, and it's really, it's got a really great pigment to it, and it lasts all day, it doesn't crease up on me, and it's kind of just, it's real creamy, so I'm just going to throw that all over my eyelid, the color payoff's really nice on this one. There are, I think, eight or nine colors of this, and I need to try a couple more because this one has been really, it's been good to me. So I got a little color down on my lid, and then I'm going to go in with my bronzer. Like I said, this is quick, so I'm just trying to get out the door. And the brush I used for that was the Mikasa E230. This is kind of just a flat brush. Now to go into my crease and add a little color and dimension to my crease, I am using the It Cosmetics brushes for Ulta and it is the Airbrush Crease Brush. This came in a set from Ulta around Christmas. I think they still have it, but my husband got me this set and I've really enjoyed it. So I'm just gonna lightly buff that into my crease. And like I said, it just gives a little bit of dimension and that's why I love this butter bronzer so much is because it's multi-purpose. You can use it as a bronzer and you can also use it as an eyeshadow. I like having a little bit of color there in my crease. Now obviously this video is longer than it. I said it was going to be 10 minutes to get out the door but I'm, it wouldn't take me as long if I wasn't talking through everything. So I'm just going to keep buffing until I get the color that I want. Love it. I love this bronzer. So next I'm going to go in with a quick eyeliner pencil. And this is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil, the shade of Stag. It's black, guys. It's black. So you can get this at Ulta or Sephora. There's a good dupe for it. It is the NYX Slide On Glide On Eyeliner. And I've been really happy with that too, but this is going to expire soon, so I just want to use it up. So I'm just going to go in and line really quickly. doesn't have to be anything super precise. I'm just going to smudge it out. So that was quick. I'm not going to put anything on my lower lashes or in my waterline. Next thing I'm going to do is curl my lashes and add a little bit of mascara. And it's amazing just what curling your lashes and adding mascara can do. This curler is a Shu Yumura eyelash curler and I've had this for years probably maybe 10 years and I just keep replacing the little pad in it. It's the four used to sell it, but they don't sell it anymore. So I think you have to buy it online if you want it. If I can find a link for it, I'll link it below. Now the mascara I'm gonna use is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. I think I've talked about this before. This is, to me, the dupe for the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. It's really good. a little bit on my eyelid 
And if you do get a little bit on your eyelid, don't try to pull it and get it off. What I do is I wait until it dries and then I can just take a brush, a clean brush, and just swipe it away and it just comes right off. If you guys are interested in more tutorials, please let me know. Down in the comments, let me know what type of tutorial look, you're looking for. I'm happy to try to appease everyone and, and do anything that is requested. I just take what's left over and put it on the lower lash line. So there, lashes. I love this mascara. Get it if you haven't gotten it, you won't regret it. Now my next to last step is going to be powder. And I don't normally powder a lot, but since I didn't set my under eye or anything with any um, translucent powder, I'm gonna use this It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Pressed Powder. It is translucent, but it's just supposed to give you that kind of airbrush look. So I'm gonna take the It Cosmetics Airbrush Powder Brush. This is another one that came from the set from Ulta, and this is the It Brushes for Ulta tap off the excess and just kind of pat it, pat it into my skin. And that just kind of sets everything down for the day and I don't have to worry about it sliding off. If it's kind of hot outside, I feel like this powder holds up really well. Last thing is a little bit of lipstick, and I really like this. This is the Moisture Smooth Color Stick from Neutrogena, and I've been using this for a couple years. This shade is Soft Raspberry, and it's really light and comfortable to wear. It's kind of like a balm. So if you're looking for something and that's up your alley, you might want to give this a try. It's the Neutrogena Moisture, Moisture Smooth Color Stick. So there you have it. Completed look. It would take me 10 minutes or less to get out the door with this. And you know, it's just very, it's not crazy over the top. It's natural. And if you are interested in this type of video, just comment down below and let me know what your, your ideas are for tutorials that you may be interested in. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. And if you enjoyed this content, please leave it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. Also click the notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime I do upload a new video. You guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.